In the middle of this page, there's a picture of interior and exterior angles of a triangle. And in this lesson, I'm going to tell you some interesting relationships that they have. So first, let's just talk about vocab. The angles inside a polygon are called interior angles, meaning inside. Like an interior decorator deals with the furniture and the walls and all the things that are inside a house. When the sides of a polygon are extended, we have these other angles called exterior angles. Now, exterior angles aren't just any random angle outside of the triangle. What they are is they're an extension of a side lane. So if you see the triangle inside, what we do is we extend the side a little further, and then this blue piece right here would be considered an exterior angle. So we extend this side right here, and then this blue piece would be an exterior angle because it's an extension of one of the sides. But let's go to back to fill in the blanks. The angles outside the polygon that are adjacent, meaning next to, that's the fancy word for next to, the interior angles are called exterior angles. So when you hear me use the word adjacent, it just means two things that are next to each other. Now, you might already know this from earlier math classes. The total degrees, the sum of the degrees of the angles in a triangle adds to 180. The way that we would write that in algebra is we would say x plus y plus z is equal to 180 and that's just like three random numbers. Now when we do example one I'm going to ask you just like I did when we were in chapter one to please show all the work. You might think to yourself oh man Miss Lean, why do I have to write all this work? I can probably just do it in my head but when it gets a little more complicated, you can't do it in your head. So just please follow along, and if I write it down on the screen, you write it down on your paper. In letter A, we know that all the degrees in a triangle add up to 180. So I'm going to do 32 plus 48 plus X is equal to 180. Now you just power up your calculator. It's a simple equation back from chapter 1. 32 plus 48 is 80. We have to combine like terms. And then you subtract 80, and you get that the missing angle is 100 degrees. All right, now let's look at letter B. A little more complicated, so we're going to still follow our format. This one, you might not just be able to just punch in your calculator, do some subtraction, and figure it out. So we're going to get our form ready. It's x plus x plus 28 plus 90, because this right here means 90 degrees, equals 180. You don't have to put the parentheses in the equation. They're actually kind of more distracting than they are helpful. So when you write the equation, you can just drop your parentheses. So now, again, back to chapter 1. Let's combine like terms. I get 2x plus 118 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 118. 180 minus 118 is 62. And so that means that x is 31. Now, it doesn't say that we have to do it, but at all of the angles aren't 31. All that means is that x is 31. So now if you go back up to the picture, this is 31, but this would be 59 because you plug in 31. I'd like you to try numbers 1 and 2, and when you're ready, click play. All right, so I found my measurements and just... For fun, I'm going to go back up, and this is a way that you can check yourself. You go back up into the picture here, and you put 74, and then when you add up your three angles, 74 
plus 81 plus 25, you see if you get 180. You can do the same thing in number 2. You go back up and you plug in 86. So this one's 86, this top one. And then you do 86 minus 35, which is 51. And then you say, does 86 plus 51 plus 43 equal 180? All right, so that's interior angles. They add up to 180. The other thing that I'm going to tell you about triangles is a relationship that the exterior angle has with some of its interior angles. So here's how it works. This angle outside, this exterior angle, is equal to these two angles added together. It's really that simple, but what happens is that it sounds really complicated. So here's the words for it. Whoa. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So let's break that down. The exterior angle, we know is equal to, we should know that also, the sum, so we're adding something, the two non-adjacent, meaning not touching it, inside angles. So that's what this picture shows. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent, not touching, interior angles. Now, algebraically, using this picture, all we would do would be x plus y equals z. So now you understand why mathematicians really like symbols instead of words, because this equation looks much simpler than that crazy sentence on the left. Now again, you might be able to just punch these into the calculator for some of them, but some of them also, you're not going to be able to do that, so I want to build that foundation, so let's write the equation together. So we're going to do x is equal to 36 plus 72, because the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent, not touching, interior angles. So this equation is set up almost perfectly. All I have to do is do 36 plus 72 which is 108. So that tells me that x is equal to 108. So now we go back up to the picture. 108, because it says to find the measure of the angle. So we actually have to plug it into the picture. Now for this picture, this yellow triangle, I'm going to set it up. And this is definitely not one that you can just punch right into your calculator. So let's write it out. 2a is equal to 80 plus a minus 5. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent, not touching, interior angles. Now, that if they gave us this angle, it would be like a trick because we don't use it. Sometimes they do. So now we just solve it like we did back in Chapter 1. I'm going to do variables on the left. So I'll move the a. I always like to move my variables first. Oh, technically I could have added 80 and negative 5. Maybe I should have done that first. Anyway, so I get a equals 80 minus 5 is 75. Now that's the value of a. But if you go back up to the directions, it actually tells me to find the angle. So that's not the answer. The answer is 2 times 75, which is 150. So 150 is the answer to the question, um, not 75. If you circled 75 as your answer, you'd be wrong. I would like you to try these next two on your own. So I almost finished number four, but I have to bring the 40 up to the picture. So n is 40. Um, this angle up top is 100. I don't need those actually, um, but what it does ask me for is the exterior angle, which would be 4 times 40 minus 20, so that would be 
140. So the only correct answer to the question is 140. If your work looks different from mine and you have something wrong, you need to fix it, please. All right, let's move on to example three. An airplane leaves Miami and travels around the Bermuda Triangle as shown in the diagram. What is the measure of the interior angle at Miami? All right, now it might be hard to see where Miami is because it's kind of a little blurry, but Miami's right over here. So they want to find this missing angle. So since we know, don't know it, we can label it X. And then they give us the other measurements. So let's write an equation. X plus 62.8 plus 2X minus 44.8 is equal to 180. Now pilots use angles and geometry a lot in their jobs. They have to be at the exact angle, they have to be at the exact elevation, right? They have to talk to the radio tower. Um, it's very scientific. So this is definitely something that would be a realistic thing to do. They have to know the angle that they're turning so they don't crash into another plane or something like that. So now let's write the equation. Let's combine like terms. We have three X. And then when we combine 62.8 minus 44.8, we get plus 18 equals 180. We can solve this easily by subtracting 18 and then dividing by 3. All right, so we get that the angle at uh, Miami is 54 degrees because that was here. You could easily find the angle at Puerto Rico, which is right here, um, by just plugging in 54 into the question. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.